Welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at my two favorite paid 3D models this year. So most of the time I cover free 3D models and check them all out, but I also every so often dive into paid ones and these cost big bucks. So we've got one that costs $7 and one that costs $5. And I think they're well worth the price. So we've actually got a Willis Jeep as our first one, which is a really nice one. It's a print in place, then snapped together with a few additional accessories you add on afterwards. And it is really exceptional. And then we also have the SpaceX Starship as this was a standout for me because of the fact that the articulated parts were printed as one. So you ended up with these wings that move, but of course we're actually just integral parts of the 3D print. And I love those kind of things. Otherwise, I would not have bothered picking this up. But anyway, let's take a closer look at both models and I'll go over their great features. So first up is the Willis Jeep. Like I say, this prints in place and then you fold it up together to make a wonderful Jeep that looks excellent. And for me, I went as far as painting this up and giving it to my dad as a Father's Day gift. And I'm extremely happy with how it came out. I think it looks absolutely exceptional. And I'd also say that the thought that went into creating this was very, very good. It's not a perfect 3D model in the fact that you do snap it together in a way that leaves quite a few seam lines and stuff like that. If you're looking for a more uh, perfect uh, Jeep out there to go by, you can definitely do that. But the great thing for me with this one is you give it to your dad unassembled and he can then snap it together. And that I think is an extra layer of coolness to this. And I would say this is a pretty good model for a beginner in 3D printing. It's not too hard. It definitely has a few kind of areas of issue, but that would come down to mostly adhesion. As long as you've got half decent adhesion on your 3D printer, I think you'd have a real good time with this one and overall very simple to work with. I would definitely do some infill because you're going to snap it together. You want to have some resistance inside. And this one is less than $5. Link in the description below if you want to go check it out. And then up next is a far bigger model, but only costs just under $7. And this is SpaceX Starship. So this is wonderful. Now, I do think the Starship design is a little bit boring. It's mostly, of course, just a cylinder. It's not quite got the curves of the old school space rockets that we've seen in the past. But it certainly with its articulated wings, it really does add a little bit of uniqueness to the overall design. And this thing just looks incredible. Now I decided to print this off in black filament and then I sprayed it up with silver and with matte black to get the overall design that I wanted and it came out looking incredible. Now I could have easily gone with no paint and I could have then gone with a silver filament and a matte black filament but I'm very happy with how my overall design ended up coming out. The scale of this thing is also very very good. It's a nice size you get a real good sense of the scale with this one. And the original designers done a really good job of separating it out into different printable sections, making it quite easy to print. And I would actually say for a novice printer, this is not too bad, but you're going to need really good adhesion for a few bits. And then if you want to go even further, you do have the ability to buy even the boosters and all that. So you can make a full on rocket with all the different parts that this vessel has. But for me, the actual Starship part was all I needed to make something absolutely cool as hell. So yeah, very happy with this. The articulated wings really sold it for me. Otherwise, I probably would not have bothered picking this up. And the heat shield tile texture on this is definitely exceptional as well. Really gives it an excellent sense of the heat shields that, of course, the Starship has. So yeah, really, really good. So that is my two favorite paid 3D models this year for 3D printing. And the great thing is, of course, with 3D printing that I've bought these files now, I can make as many of these as I like. I can come back to it in a future time and maybe even supersize them or stuff like that. Because now, of course, I own the files. I can do whatever I want with them. So really happy to play around with it and maybe return to them in the future. And for the price I paid, I think that is well worth it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button and stay subscribed if you want to see more. Thanks very much for coming by and I'll catch you next time.